This is an old video of me testing out an American Bulldog puppy from my friend's breeding program. A lot of people used to think that I pushed puppies too hard, put too much pressure on them and stuff like that. However, if you are breeding working dogs and you are not testing them to see where their faults lie, then you're basically just creating a weak program. You have to know what the faults the dog has and if they can be corrected, if they're environmental faults or if they're genetic. So you have to test dogs and if you know how to read a dog properly then you will not push a dog too far and the dog will still come out on top at the end of the sessions. This little puppy, she was fantastic here she was being exposed to tons of different things. She had never been in a harness. Um, I th believe she had bitten on a couple toys two or three times, maybe max. But she'd never, you know, seen umbrellas. She'd never been hit with objects. She's never had the chair. She'd never been tied back. You know, she never had any sort of threat display and she was confident and she pushed through everything. I hosed her down with the garden hose. Every time she did bite, you know, she dropped the sleeve right away. As possession of a sleeve is usually something that ends up being taught by the handler. Some people think that it's a sign that the dog, you know, is shitty and only wants the toy to play with, but it's actually just a training behavior that is taught. If you teach the dog to not want the sleeve, then the dog doesn't want a sleeve. The second it gets the sleeve, it'll just drop it. As it's just a learnt behavior to keep it. Because in Schutzen and other sports, they want the dog to possess the sleeve. If you don't want the dog to possess it, then the dog will simply just drop it like you saw here and then initiate the game to begin again. A lot of people, though, they don't test their dogs, or they don't really know how, which is probably a good thing that they don't. But it is good if you're breeding a working program that you want to test every dog very, very thoroughly to see where faults lie, as every dog has faults. This nice little dog went on, and she ended up getting a live bite in her lifetime at least once. Like I said, this is an old video, and she's just a baby here. But really, really nice dog. And when I was breeding working dogs, I tested them as far as I could, looking for any little fault in their uh, confidence, any sort of weakness. If you don't know where your weakness is, you're going to be doubling up on it, and you're going to start producing shit. If you don't push your dogs, you'll never know what they are. And the minute something really happens and somebody pushes them, they're going to break.